This is Boogie2988, a YouTuber and streamer who has been faking cancer for not one, not two, but almost three years now. I don't throw around the word hate lightly, but in this case, I mean, it's totally understandable for anyone to hate this guy, especially with the documentary that recently came out about him. He's kind of just a piece of shit that we used to actually feel sorry for, but after a lot of these things coming to light recently, we certainly don't. Because he's the one who brought all this recent backlash upon himself in the first place. As if things couldn't get any worse, he decides to tattoo liar on his face as some sort of apology? Honestly guys, that tattoo is hilarious. But how about let's just not think cancer in the first place would probably be a bit better. I suppose calling this behavior insane is certainly an understatement. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, let me explain all of his nasty sides in this video. Because faking cancer is just the tip of the iceberg. This guy actually scammed people for his own gain. And his bogus diagnosis has led to a wave of outrage and disappointment among his followers and the online community. Streamers are feeling betrayed and disgusted. And yeah, same here. Cancer is one of the most debilitating illnesses out there. So it shouldn't be your only personality trait. But for Boogie, that's all he's kind of got. With nearly 4 million subscribers on YouTube and 411,000 followers on Twitch, it's easy to spin his stories and make his audience believe him. And now to find out that everything he had been claiming is all just a big fat lie, pun intended, with no proof, just excuses and exploiting people's pity all along, it's crystal clear this person needs to be exposed. So look, it was impossible. You guys are only here for fucking two days. It's impossible to get the content done. So I came like, for the party. I came for the party. So I'm like, okay, well then let's just celebrate the yeah. successful show that we have, Local Live. It's been a successful show. And then as you're on the way here, I get a call from CoffeeZilla where yeah. you told him you don't get paid for this show. Before no. we get into the details, let's take a moment to see who Boogie2988 really is. His real name is Stephen J. Williams, but he's better known as Boogie or Francis. He's an American commentator who makes gaming related videos, talks about gaming news, does personal vlogs and creates character sketches. He's been around online since 2006. In fact, he's someone that I actually used to watch myself. Haven't checked this recently, but last time I did, Boogie's biggest video on his channel is him falling backwards into a swimming pool. Now, I don't know what you're thinking, that's no Mr. Beast video with that kind of a budget, but boy oh boy was that entertaining back in 2009 or whenever that came out. <laughs> well, I, I still don't understand why you're not attacking. I, I, what am I going to do? Block with a fucking dice? Uh, well, I, you might. I mean, well, no, it's just bullshit. You got a lot of mana. What I'm trying to say is, fine, fine. I don't even have cards in my hand. And I talk like a fucking land. This is just 14 of 17. Fuck! So are you done? Yeah, go. Just go. I mean, Just, I mean go ahead and attack me. Okay, well, first I got the turn record double triggers on my. I don't care! Well, it's, it's, it's a mandatory trigger. I've got to actually got a result. Fuck, I'm at six, dude! Well, I, I don't want. I can't do anything. It's my upkeep. God damn it! God damn it! So, man, so. Here, we'll do this. Seriously, I'm gonna scoop. I'm one, gonna, I'm gonna one, scoop. You don't have to scoop. You don't have to scoop. You're not actually dead. One through, one through four will bruise. We'll bruise by five and six. Three. God damn it. It's a grass repentance. It doesn't matter. What do you want to do? Balance my human? I, don't, I really don't know what, you, what your next table of is, is the problem. Though. I. God damn it. Um, I'm losing my patience. God damn it. Double play. Fuck! You're kidding! Judge, judge. Fuck! Fuck this game! Fuck you! So I win, right? Now, if you're thinking that someone with that much time online would have a great track record, think again. 
It's hard to find anything noteworthy or good he's ever done. His history is filled with issues and a quick Google search reveals more about his controversies than any positive achievements. Take a look for yourself. God, I hope when I Google myself, that, does, that would destroy me. Well, you remember about three weeks back, I said that I likely could potentially have a form of cancer. <sighs> Turns out I got a rare blood cancer called polycythemia vera, which basically makes your body produce too many red blood cells. And when I started taking that testosterone supplement seven or eight years ago, however long it's been, um, we knew that this was a possibility. You never think you're going to be the guy who gets that side effect though, right? You never think it's going to be you. But some, sometimes it is. It has to be somebody. But the good news is, I mean, this is a disease that takes a really long time to get you. Statistically speaking, I'll die of a blood clot or a heart attack or a stroke due to one of those blood clots. In terms of the clarity that I referred to earlier, I've known about this for a little over six weeks. That it was a probability, though I just got my official diagnosis. But uh, I hope it gives you an idea of why I've been so worried about my money, why I've been so worried about my career, why I've been so worried about my future, why I've done some of the things I've done and said some of the things I've said. Maybe I should have led with this before I asked people to watch my videos or become channel members or whatever. I don't know. This felt very private at the time. 2022, Boogie posted a video onto his YouTube channel titled, <laughs> I have a rare form of cancer. So rare that it doesn't even exist. He claimed he was diagnosed with a rare blood cancer called polyphysmeria viria. Oh, why are they naming illnesses so complicated? It isn't, it's not good for us dyslexic people. And well, he even mentioned having a basal cell carcinoma, a type of skin cancer. And honestly, it's just a shame at this point that he didn't change that title. It really should be, I am a rare form of cancer, because that would be way more accurate. And little did we know at the time that those rare types of cancer he claimed to have could only be cured by, you guessed it, YouTube donations. <laughs> Guys, Boogie needs your help. What are those free silly numbers on the back of your card? Honestly, it's insane. You are faking your cancer diagnosis, Boogie. And I could have not paid my friend back for covering my medical bill. No, 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 you- And I could, no, listen, 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 listen. Well, I've seen your, I, I've seen your bank statement, so I know- Because you're ignoring I know the it's fact going to happen. that I need to pay yes, mortgage on Yes, your mortgage, Monday. right, which should have come There's from no the podcast. There's no more money coming in. There's no more money coming in between now and then. Which should have come, it, but it should have come from the podcast. It's not. Right, because I'm not getting paid this month because I have to travel to do an on-location shoot. This guy is so manipulative. He has managed to move the story from uh, the money's at Mercy Hospital right now to, well, I have $2,500 of medical expenses at some point in the month to, well, the reason I'm ending the month with $5,000 is because I'm such a great saver and I needed to pay my mortgage to, no, actually, that mortgage was paid for, too. A few weeks ago, Boogie was called out by a YouTuber called CoffeeZilla about his involvement in the Faddy coin scam and where the money went. In his defense, Boogie made several excuses, claiming the fact that the funds he collected were meant to cover medical bills for his cancer treatment. Of course. He then claimed that he had the worst thing happening in his life to avoid any accountability or I guess lessen the blame on him. It's honestly just disgusting. And then it was already too late because that video sparked the curiosity of many YouTubers, including ex Twitch streamer, Steven, Destiny and Bonvel, who decided to investigate Boogie's cancer claims and came up with a hypothesis. What did he find out? Well, Boogie, my boy, might have confused or even misunderstood what his doctor had told him. So let's just assume this is what Boogie's doctor told him. Okay, you might have these symptoms, but we can't tell if you really have it 
I mean, you may, or you may not. That's all we know as of now. Makes sense, right? A doctor would never just slap a cancer label on you without running a bunch of tests and biopsies. They need to check for mutated cells and get results before they can confirm cancer. Because at the end of the day, it is a cell mutation that can go into different grades. Just to think about the reality of it, no medical team would ever say, oh, you probably have cancer, so let's just start treating it and figure out the details later, I guess. Yeah, as you guys probably know at this point, that's not how that works at all. <laughs> they don't tell you that you have something unless they 100% know. I mean, look at when you've gone to the doctor and you want to find out what you have. It obviously takes weeks to get tests and to get those tests back. And even when they have the results, if you phone up the reception, they won't even tell you. The doctor themselves need to tell you this. And they're so strict about who is allowed to tell you in the first place and what they're even allowed to say. So yeah, none of this makes any sense. And given Boogie's track record, I'm sure he's probably just straight up lying at this point to soften the blow, I guess, on how people view him now? Uh, well, if he ordered a bone marrow, bone marrow biopsy to confirm it, it would be weird that you told us that you already had a diagnosis and a confirmation. Because the markers are purpose. in my blood. The hormone markers are in my blood, Destiny. Correct. But you said that you'd received the diagnosis, but now you just told me you got a, a bone marrow biopsy. It's a diagnosis, confirm. and now we're confirming. It's called a sure. confirmation. The, the sure. hormone markers are already in my blood. Yep. So and I think we are confirming it with the biopsy because I'm yeah. wanting to do that because I'm praying to God I don't f***ing have cancer. He doesn't care. I'm if praying you're... to God I'm taking the one in a million f***ing chance that they're f***ing wrong. And there's another reason <laughs> that I have the hormone uh, the hormone f***ing uh, imbalances in my blood. Yeah, why are you praying to God two years after you said that you have cancer that you don't have cancer? Because two <laughs> years ago, because two years ago, they told me I have polycythemia vera based on the fact that I had increased uh, red blood cell counts, increased hemoglobin, and the hormone markers in my blood. And it all spelled pretty definitively that I have this. And so he wanted to get a bone marrow biopsy, but it is intrusive and expensive, so they decided to forego it. I would like to still get it done. And then a couple of weeks ago, the Locale podcast dropped an episode where a group of YouTubers like Destiny, XQC, some ordinary gamers, and Mr. Metica took another swing at Boogie for his dubious cancer claims. They pointed out a bunch of inconsistencies, like Boogie still getting biopsies after his supposed diagnosis, and the confusing mix of polycythemia types he's been vague about. Honestly, that was a big question mark for me. The whole time you're claiming to have a serious condition, then why the hell are you dodging these important details. Obviously, at this stage, it's not really adding up. They also grilled him on why he wouldn't just show the medical documents to prove he's really sick. Boogie's excuse is that revealing those documents would have breached his privacy, but the corner to that is, why not redact the sensitive information and still show the proof? If you've got nothing to hide, you'd think he would jump at the chance to clear his name. But at this point, his refusal speaks volumes. Destiny's theory is that Boogie was actually diagnosed with secondary polyphemia, a non-cancerous condition that just means too many red blood cells. Yet Boogie claiming he has polycythemia viria, this theory isn't actually new, but this time when it came from Destiny, it was enough to knock people's heads. To add fuel to fire, Destiny and others offered Boogie thousands of dollars if he could prove he had cancer to a trusted third party, even if it wasn't made public. The total amount that was offered up to Boogie was $65,000 from multiple donors. I mean, just imagine being offered that large amount of cash. Wouldn't you show proof if you really had the condition? That's a serious chunk of change right there. I mean, especially if you've already told people that you had it in the first place, then why not would you just show your papers and like I said, redact the sensitive information? Obviously, it's because 
he knows he doesn't have it. But Boogie kept denying the offer, never giving a decent reason why. Which, at this point, we already know why. But that's just really muddying the waters. Are the people who keep tolerating Boogie's toxicity and scams, his brother, Brian Williams, even tweeted claiming Boogie's diagnosis is legitimate. Now, if you ask me, that's some next level brotherly support right there. <laughs> Which, on the same day, Boogie deleted his Twitter account, but then reinstated it four days later to post a tweet. So let's break down what he said. This is how it started. According to the internet, I lied about cancer. However, the last two years, I've been treating the symptoms of that cancer. Blood tests, medications, and so much more. We still have one test left to verify which cancer it is. Yeah, right. Then he added, my brother has seen it in my medical charts. My girlfriend and my best friend have been present when the doctors spoke of it. We are doing more tests to confirm PV, so we're just determining if there's a second cancer present. We're starting with a colonoscopy to see if the cancer's present, as I've shown signs of prostate cancer. At this point, he's just blatantly lying. Two points of origin for cancer and no biopsy or checks for two years? Seriously? The moment doctors suspect cancer, well, they start testing again. That's one of the first steps. Given the larger size of, well, I don't know, I'm not body shaming here, but he's certainly morbidly obese. They're definitely going to check for cancer due to a increased risk. But how did he get a diagnosis before all the tests? Like, voila, it's just magic at this point. Continuing his tweet, he wrote, My father died of cancer. My best friend from childhood died from cancer. My friend John, Total Biscuit, died of cancer. Cancer is not something I would ever lie about. Whew, okay, well, that didn't age too well, did it? Because it sure looks like you fucking did. He goes on about his progress and treatment, but we never see any evidence of this. I mean, no one would have cared this much if he had just been honest about having cancer. The issue is obviously he's lying about it to gain sympathy and money. But to be honest with you, again, this comes as no surprise. This is something that Boogie has done for the longest time. Always playing victim and trying to get the sympathy card, whether that's down to his weight or other reasons. I've seen him do this multiple times. Quite literally, the reason I stopped watching him, it kind of just got annoying when all he did was moan in every single one of his videos. And what's even crazier at this point to me is the fact that he's been living it up. Strippers here and there. I mean, sure, that's his choice, but if he's going through this very serious thing, how come he's partying so hard at the same time, like we saw in that documentary? What's wrong is when he has nothing left, he resorts to blabbering on about his fake problems and cancer on live streams or YouTube to get people to sympathize and donate money for his fake treatments. I mean, who wouldn't feel bad for someone who keeps saying, I've got a mortgage to pay, I'm drowning in debt, I need thousands for my treatment. But again, like we saw in that documentary, he refuses to sell anything. He occasionally sells cards but then blows it all on food, literally on the same night, saying he deserves it. Even if he doesn't outright beg for money, his consistent sob story about financial problems and screams for help, well, it was almost laughably easy for him to con his audience and just take their cash. Can I don't want to destroy someone's fucking life! Because I don't want to destroy somebody's life! Because I don't want to destroy somebody's life! Because I don't want to destroy somebody's life! Okay. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. No, I yeah. don't! I, oh, I, I'll you just sat here. All day. I'll just I all fucking, day. I'll just sat here. mine all day, and my dad is dead, and my mom is dead. I'll talk about those yeah, pieces but, of shit till they fucking rot. Yeah, but, but Chad I will and Desi aren't dead. I'm still fucking alive! I will not! A lot of people have slammed him in the past for all sorts of shady stuff, but this might be one thing I would criticize him for the most. If he actually has cancer at this point, well, it's just a real head scratcher. Why wouldn't he just take the 65,000 by showing some proof? 
he's been an open book about his health and personal life from, well, day one. But he won't even flash a single piece of paper to shut down the rumors or even just take the money. Because we all know, Boogie likes money. Maybe he's just even secretly loving the bad press. Honestly, at this point, who knows with him? But one thing is for sure, I mean, Boogie will do just about anything for money and attention. I even remember the time he stripped down when he was live streaming. It was honestly fucking gross. Honestly, I mean, who could possibly find joy in seeing that? It's kind of just pathetic and sad. So now that Boogie has been called out, he also decided to get a tattoo on his face. This one is pretty just hilarious, I think, for most people to see. I don't know why, but my boy decided to get a tattoo saying, liar. Honestly, kind of dig it. Nothing will ever make up for the bullshit I pulled, but I hope this makes some of you feel a little better. Again, man, I just feel like all the time he's trying to play victim, and even now, I'm sure there's comments in his comments section saying, oh, it's okay, Boogie, don't beat yourself up. <laughs> He knows how to play people, that's for sure. And like some people are saying, is it even really a tattoo? I mean, it might just be permanent marker or paint at this point. I really wouldn't be that surprised. Honestly, I'm not buying a word he says at this point. This face tattoo is permanent. This you is like said you were taking it off. I was talking to Desi about that on the way home and you know what she said? She said it looked hot. I told you. <laughs> I told you it looks cool. <laughs> Desi, come here. Tell tell them what you t said about my tattoo. Tell them tell them what you said. But she looks really good today, by the way. She dressed up for my birthday. Look at her. She, yeah, she likes it. She actually likes it, man. And many people on Twitter and Reddit are speculating that Keem might have suggested this move. I'm not sure if it's true, but it seems like everyone involved is certainly getting more views. I guess bad publicity is still publicity at this point. Well, I guess at this point, Boogie has now joined the long list of cancer fakers that we've talked about on this channel. And I honestly did believe, even for Boogie, this would be too low somehow, but I guess not. <laughs> It's just disgusting to see people making a complete mockery of this very serious illness. I always see you guys commenting in the comments down below when I see people faking this, saying how it affects you and how it makes you guys feel extremely angry. And it comes as no surprise. I think when you have people in your family who have died because of this, and here we have some person on the internet thinking they deserve that money so they can spend it on the most ridiculous things and lie to you and then at the end of it just have a tattoo on their face saying liar will just fix that all somehow. But as Boogie continues to burn bridges and destroy that trust between his audience, I just really see no redemption at this point for him. Generally curious though what you guys think about this whole situation. Did you see this coming? And how does this make you feel that someone as well known as Boogie has faked cancer? With that all being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. If you guys could please leave a like and comment down below as well as it helps the algorithm. And I do want to expose people like this. I think it's important. With that all being said, hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.